Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's upcoming trip to Colombia, with stops in Bogota and Cartagena, is already shrouded in controversy, largely due to speculation surrounding Meghan's fashion choices. The visit is set for August 15th in Bogota, followed by a trip to Cartagena the next day. However, the real story is not just about the itinerary but the swirling rumors and media scrutiny that have once again cast a shadow over the Duchess of Sussex. Fashion has always been a significant aspect of Meghan's public persona, and this trip is no different. Media outlets are abuzz with speculation about whether Meghan will wear designs by renowned Colombian designer Johanna Ortiz. Ortiz has previously dressed Meghan, and her brand has become synonymous with Latin American elegance. A collaboration during this high-profile visit would undoubtedly provide a massive boost to the designer's brand, especially in an international market. However, the speculation has taken a darker turn with rumors of a dispute between Meghan and Ortiz. According to reports primarily propagated by the UK Royal Trends YouTube channel, Meghan allegedly declined to pay for outfits offered by Ortiz specifically for this trip. This refusal, if true, has reportedly left Ortiz disappointed, as she had been hoping for Meghan's endorsement to enhance her brand's visibility. These rumors suggest that Meghan's refusal was not merely a financial decision but a deliberate choice, raising questions about her commitment to supporting designers from the region she visits. Yet, it's crucial to note that these allegations lack substantial evidence and seem to be part of a broader narrative of controversy and scrutiny that often surrounds Meghan. The claims, largely disseminated by a YouTube channel with a questionable reputation, might be exaggerated or even fabricated. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, these rumors have added fuel to the ongoing media narrative that often criticizes Meghan's fashion choices and questions her motivations. Meghan's fashion decisions have not always been well received. During her trip to Nigeria, her choice of outfits sparked a range of reactions, from praise for her bold style to criticism for what some perceived as unflattering or culturally insensitive choices. The scrutiny she faces over her wardrobe is relentless, and this upcoming trip to Colombia seems to be no exception. The narrative being spun by the media suggests that Meghan's focus is more on her image and fashion than on the causes she claims to support, a criticism that has followed her throughout her public life. This situation is emblematic of the broader challenges Meghan faces as she navigates her role in the public eye. Whether these rumors about her dealings with Johanna Ortiz are true or not, they contribute to the ongoing media scrutiny that often paints her in a negative light. The focus on her fashion choices, rather than the substance of her work or the purpose of her visits, suggests a persistent bias in how she is portrayed. The media's obsession with Meghan's wardrobe choices reflects a deeper issue of how female public figures are often judged more for their appearance than their actions. In Meghan's case, this has led to a narrative that questions her sincerity and commitment to the causes she champions. The allegations regarding her dealings with Ortiz, true or not, feed into this narrative and add another layer to the ongoing controversy surrounding her public image. As Prince Harry and Meghan prepare for their visit to Colombia, the focus on fashion and rumors of a fallout with a designer overshadow the more significant aspects of their trip. This pattern of media scrutiny is unlikely to change, and it remains to be seen how Meghan will navigate these challenges in the public eye. Whether she chooses to wear Johanna Ortiz's designs or opts for another designer, the media will undoubtedly continue to scrutinize her every move, further fueling the debate over her role and image in the public sphere.